discuss stream no space cam thank you all right hi heavy zapdos folsey can we get a shout out for folsey dragoon knight how's it going how are you yes i hope we get good stuff for capcom we have battle network that's shown to us um hi sunny I took a quick shower and I had to blow dry my hair for a little bit, so... Cloudport? I love the music. A world premiere Folsies because of the PC showcase. Hi Fred, how's it going? Rispies, how's it going? Uh, Joe, how are you? Inari, how are you? Hi Lance, how's it going? Is this like the actual... Oh, it's previews before it lands, yes. Um, and then we also gotta get a shout out for Lance! Mega Man Battle Network. Legacy Collection. How are you? How's everyone? Oh, I guess the shadow isn't working today for some people. Because Sir Spectre did a shadow and it didn't work. Um, but yeah, go check out Lands if you love Kingdom Hearts, Final Fantasy, RPGs, JRPGs all around, and Pokemon. Um, Lands, I love Lands. He's great. Um, and then Folzy, same thing. If you love Kingdom Hearts and RPGs, JRPGs, go check out Folzy. Um, showcase fatigue a little. Oh, are you having a showcase fatigue right now, Rodrigo? Welcome in. How are you? Ooh, breakfast sounds good. What kind of, what kind of food for breakfast, Sunny? Um, let's see here. Yeah, I guess the bot isn't working today. I decided to go on the main screen because I had to blow dry my hair um, in Nari. Hi, Sick Zara, how's it going? How are you? Uh, Dad and Xbox, oh yeah, world premiere. Audio was muted for six seconds. Okay, thank you, Heavy. Ads in currently, okay, sounds good. Ads will end probably when you get back, Lance. Thank you so much, you're welcome, Lance, of course. Uh, Pokemon! Hello, T-Dude, how are you? I'm doing well. I got four to five hours of sleep, but I couldn't go back to sleep because I had a headache. Um, but it's okay. I am awake, and I do feel better than yesterday, um, where I woke up during a bad time. Stay and watch. Oh, okay, no worries, Anari. Have a good one. Oh, you're welcome, Folzy. You be soft, yes. You might have some showcase fatigue. I mean, because I took... Uh, I went to sleep yesterday at Rodrigo, I feel a little better. Atlas, Atlas. Yes, I am playing Tears of the Kingdom, Joe. We're not gonna talk about Tears of the Kingdom, because I'm not done with the game. Hello, everyone. Welcome I to the Capcom see. Showcase. There's a countdown for the shadow. We'd like to share that June 11th, 2023 marked Capcom's 40th anniversary. Hi, you see. A big thanks to everyone for playing our Let games. me see if I could do this shout to out. Amazing fans that we can celebrate such a milestone. Ah, uh, darn it. We look it's not working. Creating many more games in the years I'm sorry. Oh, now it works. If you love like Card Checker, go follow C uni.ttv if you haven't already. Show off our um, titles at the Capcom Showcase. They love RPGs, JRPGs as well. And they're Stay very wholesome and sweet, so go check out C. Um, Let's take a look at this video. <gasps> I want to know about this game. Let's go. It reminds me so much of Okami. Are those octopus legs like floating around? This is the same trailer that we saw in Xbox, but I'm hoping that there's more to it because this is the Capcom uh, presentation today. Capcom is older than you. Running right there animation really reminds me so much of Okami. Yes, I'm still affiliated with uh, Capcom. Rodrigo. I still need to edit 
Mega Man Battle Network, but Tears in the Kingdom is the top game I had to prioritize. And then Final Fantasy 16. I honestly want to try this game because I'm a sucker for hack and slash and whatnot. Yeah, this game looks amazing. Okami, if Okami becomes human. If you haven't played Okami, I would say to look into it. I love that game. It's my favorite Capcom game. Hmm. So that was it. This was the same trailer that was shown in Xbox. All the monsters look interesting. They're yokai. Demo is out. Have you tried it? No, I haven't had the Japanese chance to. Rodrigo. To through the power of RE I'm too busy with Tears of the Kingdom. Experience a unique blend of strategy and action in this epic tale. A beautiful yet unsubtly We're world of awaits in Kunitsugami, Path of the Goddess. Mm. Coming to Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, Windows, PlayStation 5, and Steam. Mega Man X Dive Offline is coming to Steam, iOS, and Android. Okay. Offline. Wait, does that mean I get to play it? Now that it's offline. Hi, Annie. Welcome in. How are you? The Deep Walk, which holds collected memories of the Mega An Man iOS series, game. I hear it's attack. actually pretty good. Isn't Dive this the game the that is shutting down? It says offline, though. Too late. We love Play Mega Man Mega here. Man and other characters from the Mega Man you know, I'm hoping for Star for Sandy. Including characters that haven't been playable before. I love the music. Oh my god, get him out of here, Sigma! ...to create a powerful hunter. Power up your weapons and more to customize your character however you want. Mega Man X Dive Offline. Very Control interesting. Over 100 different characters. Ooh, I love the designs. Play as a variety of characters, including new heroes created for Mega wow. Man X Dive. I've never played the OS, but use element metals to it actually looks pieces. nice. Then analyze recovered memories to unlock characters. Thank you so much for the follow. There are more than 900 stages to play. Challenging mechanics and enemies wow. are classic and new stages. Mega Man Y boost. With familiar bosses from the past. Build the ultimate hunter. And <gasps> You're save the right, deep Sir Specter. You're right about pres preservation. Mega Man X Dive Offline launches in 2023. I I want more companies to do that, do offline stuff when you're shutting it down because preservation for video games is very very now, important. The Capcom Spotlight Corner. I I'm all up for preservation. A new era of fighting games is upon us. Street Fighter 6 launched on June 2nd. It's already received an So wait, if it's offline, game fans how do you unlock the characters? Do you just Street grind Fighter for them? Includes World Tour, an expansive single player story mode. Fighting Ground, the core fighting game experience hmm. made even more accessible. And Battle Hub, a social space where players from around the world can compete and hang out. These are the Not gonna lie, like, modes. after seeing some Street Fighter addition, 6 gameplay, I do want to play it, but I don't have time so to. <laughs> the game for a long time to come. Not this month. Street Fighter 6 is out now for PlayStation 5, PlayStation 4, Xbox Series X, Xbox Chun Series Lee's X, thighs. Hi, Ethan, don't how's it going? It. How that gonna work? I actually don't know. It was a gotcha. No, it was a gotcha. You had to use uh, for Capcom Pro Tour 2023. 
Um, this year's Capcom Pro Tour will feature Street either Fighter money the in the or daily energies to work the game, so I really don't know myself. Matches and battle to be this year's champion. Hmm. To celebrate the launch of Street Fighter 6, I remember this year, the largest prize Capcom pool ever. The total prize pool for Capcom Pro Tour is over two million dollars. Good God! One million dollars going to first place. Capcom Pro Tour 2023 <laughs> will feature three types of tournaments. Two million dollars. Offline premieres and World Warrior. You never get the that in a fighting tournament game tournament. Two World million Finals dollars. Capcom Cup 10. Let me get this game right now. You're quitting life. <laughs> no. Catch you playing that. You're gonna be part of this speed. If I had the money, I would definitely go and participate. I know I may suck, but like all or nothing, right? Two million dollars. The opening match will be held on July 7th. And will be streamed live Dang. on the Fighters JP channel on YouTube and Twitch. With some prize money? Yeah, Jack. Don't about the Street Fighter League World Championship 2023. I wish more the US um, and European leagues will determine the teams that will go on to compete in the World Championship. I wish more fighting game tournaments does this, but I know they don't have the money to and Capcom is a triple A company. Personal with Resident Evil 4 on it has the money to do 5. that. The game's main story will be playable in VR with PlayStation VR 2. Thanks to the power of PlayStation VR 2, you'll be able to experience an even more immersive version of the you game. You know, I saw somebody when I hung out with friends. Take aim as you fight to survive. Play this game, and I asked them. cutting edge knife action is a core part of the game. And the PlayStation VR2 Sense Controller I asked them, um, are the enemies it. faster? Experience or, I'm uh, sorry, are the enemies the same firsthand. speed in the original, like, remake? Or are they VR slower for the VR? Exclusive to PlayStation VR2. Oh wow, it's free. And they said it's the same. And I went, what? <laughs> That's so now, punishing for VR. What's Pragmata again? How big were the EVO prizes so far? Uh, first prize, one million. Other prize, over two million. Draw and write <laughs> while all this chaos is going. Hmm. Whoa, those things look creepy. Yeah, just another day of experimentation, Jack. Oh, she's an android. I see what you did there. It's delayed. <gasps> oh. Well, dang, that sucks. Well, as at least they are honest about it. Trick. Here's the latest on the game. Some companies they don't say anything. Hello, <laughs> I'm Shu Takumi, the original creator of Ghost Trick. It's almost time for the game's release, and I can't wait for you to play it. But first, it's let's the DS this. game. GameCube game? Oh, Pragmata? I don't think so. Dang, delayed. It sucks. Again, at least they were they're transparent about it. Some companies don't say anything. It's like we're we're what happened to development, right? I hear this is a good game to play. Some people here have played it. Oh, there's a demo! Oh, demo look at that, everyone! I can't play it because I'm going to be busy today. Named Cecil. In the course of solving his own murder, he will meet and change the lives of all sorts of people in all sorts of situations. 
Politics may seem unrelated wow. at first, but each person plays a vital role in Cecil's story. And together, their stories will lead him to one ultimate truth. So think of the demo as a doorway, inviting you into a great big mystery. It's been 13 years since we made the original game. 13! 13 darknesses. And there were many miracles that occurred during its development. I have no doubt these experiences are what shaped Ghost Trick into the unforgettable He game. speaks perfect English? Oh no, you're right. It's actually really good. It's not AI technology. So much love towards it. I'm so grateful to all of you. This man is not 3D I'm generated. That through this river, Ghost <laughs> I love his hat too. I love to so many more people around the world. Now, to wait for its release. Uh, and one more thing. I practiced very, the very dog. hard for two weeks for this appearance. So, should we miss something? Oh. It would make me very happy if he could speak in Japanese. Aww. He put in so much effort just to talk like this. Wow. See, more companies need to do demos. Okay, we don't have Blockbuster. We don't have... Uh, there's Gamefly. But... You know, we we don't have enough of these demos the to go by, you know. Attorney series, so I'm very Tucker. happy. This classic mystery game is I'm happy reformed. Capcom has been putting the effort night, to make that happen. A man loses both his memory <laughs> and his <laughs> death pose. This this is the Yamcha death pose. Of his own death. The only clue he has is a red-headed detective. A night of mystery hmm. begins anew. A rookie detective brimming with a sense of justice. She too is being targeted, and Sissel witnesses her death. Who was I? Why was I killed? Mm. Who killed me? And what does it mean that I was given these powers of the dead? Interesting. Use the powers of the dead to possess and trick items. The controls are easy. Connect Sissel's mm. glowing blue soul to the core of objects to possess them. Possess the tire. Possess the bowl. Possess oh, the star Oh, that's why it's called you ghost can trick. trick. The you possess. Trick the guitar to play it. What will happen when you trick the cart? Oh wow. Trick the door to open it. It kind of reminds me of scribble knots. will let you access new But areas. without typing anything, Cecil any words. Can go back 4 minutes before someone's death. What happened before her murder? Hmm. Those are hidden in the past. Gameplay still exists. You know what? I don't. I Bravo have no idea. Sick. Real time. I don't know if it still exists. Limit, however, is four minutes. Help people avoid near-death predicaments and change their fates. Oh. Sissel will face death in many forms. Changing their fates. Will Wait, change the dog the story. can die. And that story must be linked in some way. Oh, you also played this too, Samurai? Hmm. Ghost interesting. Trick, launching on June 30th, 2023. I'm just glad Demo Capcom. Available now. Oh, you see the data transfer. Fine. Good. Yes. For details. Yes, I live for that. No one has time to do a demo for like two hours, and then all of a sudden you have to do all those two hours again. Now on to the next game in today's lineup. Roger Rico! <laughs> it's floating. He's just the one, Roger Rico. Just the one. Yes, it's a re-release. Yeah, it is important that they do demos. I agree, Victoria. Attention. Wait, a new ace attorney? Hey, let's go! Woo! Wait a minute, another one? Wait, a re-release? What happened to his eye? Why does he look like... That one character from My Hero Academia? Alright, alright. Another one! It just keeps going! Oh, it's a collection! Mm, that's nice! That's nice! 
More re-releases? We need more of that. Ooh, I like her outfit. Ooh, a trilogy. Hey, let's go. All right, all right. So it's not Ace Attorney, it's Apollo Justice. Okay. Oh, it's a collection. Hi, Neo. Welcome in. Ace Attorney, player Hello, one shot. Falsely accused. Battle for justice in the courtroom and uncover the truth. How's everyone? The new people who are coming in. Now, Cap God. Fourth, fifth and sixth mainline Ace Attorney ah, games are being brought together. Mm, to very nice. Justice and his allies very, in very the dark nice. Age of the law. On Nintendo Switch. Don't get me wrong. 4, Ace Xbox Attorney One, is in my backlog. I just don't know what I'm gonna get to it. <laughs> colorful characters and courtroom drama of each don't game get me wrong. In beautiful full HD. Available in seven languages. Japanese, English, French, German, Korean, and traditional and simplified wow. Chinese. Wait, have also they always been in several languages. languages like that? We're sure there's oh my no God. objection to everything included <sighs> the in this The amount of localization collection. in this. Apollo Justice. Crazy. is currently in development for release in early 2024. Crazy. Please look forward to more information about this collection in the future. Pretty brilliant story department. I look forward to it. I know some some of the friends I know have played it and they were like, you need Next, to play it. I'm like, I don't have time. Ubisoft? Dang, I'm so sorry, Ubisoft fans. This month marks Capcom's 40th anniversary. Dun, 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 As part of the celebration, dun. we've opened a digital theme park called Capcom Town. Oh, it's so cute. I love this. Take a stroll through the museum to view original artwork like, and other wow. materials from various titles on display. <gasps> I would love to work on a project like this. You Having a little play a few museum. Of Capcom's beloved classics for with free. Wait, what? Head on over to the castle to cast your vote in the Capcom elections. You can play those games for free? Participants will receive a special reward. Yeah, so this don't is so adorable, out. see? I would love to work on a project for, for this. To enjoy these attractions. Like, this is so cool. Along with the many other fun experiences we've prepared at... I love it. Yeah, very generous. Hi, Silver. Welcome in. How are you? To play Resident Evil Good. I'm glad you're doing well. New upcoming title, Exo Primal. And to use the online features of Street Fighter VI. Mm. To chill running. You can also use yeah, I'm glad to see all these DS and 3DS games. games out. Such as a survey about today's Capcom showcase. We'll release more titles and services compatible with Capcom ID soon. Yeah, they need... Register I want them... I want AAA ID. companies to do more demos. Some of them don't want to do it because of data mining. But if they find a way around it... Now for the latest to make it a demo without... Next month's launch. The fear of data mining, that would be great. Okami for Hello, president! Everyone. Okami! I'm Takuro Hidaoka, the director of Exo Oh, Prime. Ghosts and Goblins? I'm excited mm, to share the I feel like I played... Just one segment of Coasts and Goblins. Smeka Rio again? <laughs> I heard activity on this frequency. Hello? My name is Garrett Sands. Basically, the IP is Godfather. He was responsible for the entire Exosuit project. You know, anger division. I assume. Exosuits were developed right here. I need exosuits. It's our only shot. We need hmm. access to the past. All yeah, data mining data is valid. Up back in I was confused that you weren't playing Tears of the Kingdom. The access codes to oh, I do You're a lot of uh, video game showcase reactions. Because I love video games. Appreciating them in some way, shape, or form. It's just this year I'm taking it easy Because last year I was a little uh, A little overwhelmed last year with all these showcases being presented All at once I mean look at this It's a walking club of stuff Ew 
It's a T-Rex of darkness! Where's my Keyblade? Capcom ID thing? I, I actually don't know. They changed the terms and conditions for it. Promise you this. We'll find a way out of here. All anchor project files have Yeah, no dino crisis. That's the project code from the It is a spiritual successor though. Oh, gentlemen. I didn't get your names. Golos, the hammer hits. Well done. You fought desperately and survived. The perfect exosuit development project is new. That's creepy. That looks like uh, this guy is from Smash Brothers. Summoning Neo T Rex. Robot Cami? There's a possibility for that. To make a better exosuit. Good hunting, Ace. Hmm. I do hope this game succeeds. It's this basically like a, a siege game. Well, actually, no. This reminds me of how originally Fortnite is supposed to be, <laughs> but with dinosaurs. If Zordon had a son, <laughs> what's that? E paint like loop. It's a T Rex. Yeah, there's a lot going on, Myth. How are you? Not my cup of tea. Yeah, I, I do hope uh, people who are hyped for this get the experiences they want. That was a lot of new info. Before we dive in, Anthem. I haven't heard that name in forever. Anthem. We were extremely pleased to have so many participants. Plus, you gave us a lot of invaluable feedback. We can't thank you enough. While only portions of the Dino survival content were made available for the open beta test, today Anthem we'll be dropped off so hard. I totally forgot about that game. I've never played it, but I Let's remember the hype. <laughs> Hi, Quick Nova. How are you? Shoot. Let's I need to make milk story. tea before Ace, we do Tears of the Kingdom is today. To the year 2040 and forced to participate in a never-ending series of war games. The story unfolds as you play through Dino Survival, the game's main mode. Gathering intel to update the analysis map unravels the mysteries surrounding parallel worlds hmm. and the AI entity known Baki as Toa. I mean, Biki Toa. That's what it says. Biki. Special boss battles as part of the main story. Put him in Dino mech suits. Mode will also change as the story progresses. It's like Power Rangers. You'll unlock new missions with a variety of. I never thought those dinosaurs would be that Power big. Power, a multitude of dinosaurs to fight, and more maps. The game will also feature in a. Can I be a dinosaur? Yeah, milk tea. Modules can be used to enhance exosuits and modify active skills. Yeah, there was a obtained by fulfilling certain conditions Power Ranger fighting game. game, in case nobody knew about that. You can also personalize your appearance with a variety of cosmetics, Ooh. such as exosuit skins, weapon skins, decals, and emotes. The game also features a special five-player mission that changes weekly. Compete with hmm. squads from around the world for the wow. fastest completion times, or by earning awards through achievements, like most I'm glad there's a lot of modes. Don't you hate it where there is only one mode for a shooting game? There are many ways to enjoy the game, even after completing the main story. We took your feedback into consideration as well. In the full version of Exo Primal, we plan to implement a mode where victory is determined by completing missions as Ooh. quickly as possible, instead of direct combat with other players. Oh, you don't have the badge? I'm sorry, Fred. Now, let's go over all the new info. I don't know then. I think it's that's Twitch's problem at that point. Who is that new face at the beginning? Meet Dr. Signs, the developer of the exosuits and the head of Anchor Division, IBS's elite research group based on Bikitoa Island. Do you need food before you do your evil laugh? Food? Space elevator that extends from the Anchor Division research facility into orbit. Oh no, I'm gonna. Playable map. I'm gonna drink milk tea because it, the one I have has a little bit of caffeine that will keep me elevator. up for 
a little wild today. Dangerous mutations of dinosaurs, known as neosaurs. The most deadly among them being the Neo T Rex. You'll need to work together with your team to stand a chance at taking them down. Oh no, is that a swarm of Neo T Rexes? What are Leviathan's true intentions? Oh, they're pretty inconsistent. Okay, Wait, things are telling me, Victorio. I didn't know that's how it worked or how to use it until yesterday. Because I, I know some people have that Unlike in their the streams. Deadeye, and I just comes equipped with a weapon that can burst thought it was by chance. Shotgun, allowing exofighters to change their style of play. Exosuit variants, including Deadeye Alpha, will be added in a title update hmm. following the full version's release. You know, if I liked dinosaurs video, and shooters we enough, I would definitely play this, or if I had the time to. Five player missions that change weekly. In this mode, players can enjoy no, a change of pace survival by competing against exo fighters from all over the world for the fastest completion time. Until suffering from the world. Variants and Savage Gauntlet will be revealed at the Xbox Game <laughs> Showcase Extent. Be sure to tune in. Why can't I be a and dinosaur? Least, we're excited to announce that we'll be holding a second open beta test. This time, we're including additional story related missions, 10 player co op missions. And other adjustments well, I'm glad they were able to get the feedback that they need for this. Check out the official website for dates and times. To do an Exoprimal lore dive? What's Vatibidia? Players will also receive a new reward for participating. I see, don't they're trying out. to make a futuristic Monster Hunter of sorts. We'll I mean, I don't blame them. Adjustments to Exoprimal, leading up to the if that's the case, they could do it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you again for all the feedback. They have some monster in their animations. Look forward to seeing you in the second open beta test. If I was working there, That's I would reuse it. <laughs> See you in the war game. Cause why not? It's going to be a ton of fun. This is if Monster Hunter was in the future. Next up is the last title we'll be showing off today. Oh really? Dragon's Dogma! People have been waiting for this. I hear the first one can be quite hard, or some what people Hi, said on my, my Discord. Itsuno, and I'm the director of Dragon's Dogma 2. It's been over a year since we celebrated 10 years it's of the Dragon's last one. Dogma, and I can finally give you some more information about the new game. Ooh. First, let's take a look at the trailer we revealed the other day. You love the first one? I look forward to Path of the Goddess. I'm a sucker for Orokami. Oh, someone you know is super excited of this, Victorio? I don't know what the first game is about. I just know that there is a first game. <laughs> so it'll be interesting to see what they have for this one. And have you forgotten that you protected me from the dragon's flames? You need only believe in your own destiny, Arisa. Of course. That begs the question. If he's a mere mama, hmm. then where might our true Arisa? Empress Nadinia's life is in your hands, sir Arisa. Praise be, for only the sovereign's guidance can lead us true. I love the various, um... Magic. I love magic. Is this like... It's Monster Hunter if there was like a real story story? Right? That's what I'm seeing. Hmm... Okay... Monster Hunter and if you have magic for every character. What did you think? Yeah, I love dragons. The RPG game, Myth. Dragons if they are supposed to be uh, badasses, yeah. Now, a decade later, 
I'm proud to share a look at the highly like Shadow the Colossus. Oh, so Rodrigo, you played this as well? Today, I want to talk about two characteristics that Dragon's Dogma. What do you mean? There was a real story, story. Um, First, like in depth. Be a Not to game. say Monster Hunter doesn't have a real story, story. And second, gameplay will feature action role-playing mechanics set in an open-world environment. In the Dragon's Dogma series, you embark on your adventures with pawns. Other it's a fan to see action RPG, AI. not Monster Hunter. The player controlled Arisen. You can embark on your journey with a main pawn. But you get to fight dragons to and whatnot and fight beasts. As well as up to two additional support pawns you can borrow from other players to form mm. a party of up to four characters. Pawns are controlled by the AI and are now capable of even more precise decisions than in the previous title. Helping you in the midst of Okay, Silver, have a good one. They can also good luck with school. To new locations. Or give you a high oh, five just gameplay RG. It really feels like playing in a party with other players. Dragon's Dogma 2 is built with the RG wow. engine, resulting in a dense world woven with I love having a party fidelity. with me. You'll enjoy a world roughly four times the size of the original Dragon's Dogma. Four times? How big is it? Before. The characters and monsters that populate the world are given life thanks to the power of AI. And players will feel like they've been reborn in this vibrant fantasy world. You can look forward to a variety of vocations hmm. to choose from. Your vocation will shape your Arisen's role throughout the adventure. Will you take on enemies with swords? Magic? It's <laughs> all up to you. <laughs> we'll have much more to share in the future. But for I now, like what I saw. I want to go over a few sections from the trailer that show what we've improved for Dragon's The power of AI! Too. Does she have? Thank you! This game is designed to enable players Thank to you, take everyone. on situations in their own way. In addition to AI, advanced technology sucker. like immersive physics brings Thank pawns, you. monsters, and NPCs to life. What would happen if you destroyed that bridge or if you pulled that monster's leg? What other exciting possibilities can you think of? Meet two characters Can I throw a chicken at them? That also appear in the game's key art. Ulrika, a bow wielder with a deep Oh, you're a big fan of Shadow Colossus? And Adenia, a high priestess of the beast hmm. which appear in the series. I've never played time. it, but I know what, what it is. <laughs> I actually know the story fate, too. The intricate relationships and situations you will encounter in the game are sure to keep you on your toes. Hmm. During your adventure, Curious. you will come across familiar monsters from the previous game, as well as new monsters, such as Medusa. You can look forward to new player vocations and many new experiences unique to Dragon's Dogma 2. Yeah, I like what I was seeing. Oh, Please thank you so much. I assume that's Jack. Thank you so much for tuning in. Yeah, there's a cooldown for the shout out because I, I made one early in the stream. Wow, I like what I am seeing. Beautiful. Dragon's Dogma 2 will be available on PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X, Xbox Series S, and Steam. 40th anniversary sale. And now, a quick look at the Capcom 40th anniversary sale. Mm. Kicking things off, we have well-known titles such as Dragon's Dogma and the Ace Attorney series. Don't miss this opportunity to pick up a few of Capcom's most influential hits at some great prices. To celebrate, we're also offering a limited time bundle of some of Capcom's major titles. All on right. Steam. All right, I'll buy. That wraps up today's I'll Capcom buy. showcase. Thank you for watching. We're always working on new games and updates, and we hope you're as excited Objection. as we are for Capcom's 40th anniversary. It was a great trailer, Myth. Watching. I agree. See you next time. It was a good showcase. I think they're. Uh, hey everyone, welcome to the Capcom yeah. Showcase post show. I'm Andy. I think that was a very good uh, showcase. Um, I've never played Dragon Sogma. I'm very happy for Dragon Sogma fans, but I did like what I was seeing. I could play the first one now? Oh, Dragon's Dogma? Puzzle games? I love puzzle games. Apollo Justice seeing games getting ported was cool. I'm happy. <laughs> I want more games to be ported, even though I never played them. 
I think having these games for new players to play um, over the course of time is very important. Um, shortest showcase of them all. I actually like this showcase. I always like watching your reactions. Oh, thank you, Rodrigo. It was an okay showcase. <laughs> yeah, good, okay. It's. I don't want to say it was like the best, best one. Um, but there were actually a good good titles here that was shown. Um, Ace Attorney Momo, Ace Attorney. Um, what else do I have to say about it? Uh, I look forward to Path of the Goddess. Um, Ace Attorney um, is in the backlog. There's so many Ace Attorney games. I won't probably get through them all in one go. But I look forward to it. Mega Man X Dive. Um, I wonder how it's gonna go. Yeah, they show a couple fun things. Yeah. Um. Pragmanta, Dragon's Dogma. Oh, is that what you're looking forward to, Killa? Dragon's Dogma too. Four out of ten. Oh. I hope you're doing well today. Dragon's Dogma is fun, Momo. Oh, it is. Yeah, I feel bad for Pragmata. Again, I'm just glad they were very transparent about it. Because <laughs> there have been some IPs shown uh, these past years in big events. Um, but they never ever see the light of day again. So just to know, like, there, there's no word for it. No one knows what happens to those IPs. But the fact that they were very uh, transparent about it. Shows that they do care. Sec this was second best. What was the first? Was it Xbox? Or was it Summer Game Fest with Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Hi, Sandwich. I'm doing well, thank you. We're just about to end. Um, I'm gonna put up this reaction on YouTube for people to see. Um, and then I'm gonna get a bit prepped. Um, before we start the Tears of the Kingdom stream today. Um, Ace Attorney and Ghost Trick? Yeah, I hear Ghost Trick is actually really good. Um, very, very niche. But I'm glad they're giving the niche title a chance for more people to play it. Xbox Capcom. Oh, Summer Game Fest, Sony, PC, Ubisoft. Oh, Sony? Wait, Sony wasn't here. Sony was last month, unless you're counting that. Oh, I think they said Starfield comes out this year. Will be more competitive. <laughs> There's a lot of customization in Starfield. Oh, Bexel Primal looks okay. That's what Fortnite have been if they didn't switch off to Battle Royale. It's honestly like how it was with Call of Duty Zombies. Xbox is a winner yesterday. Mm. It was the best showcase this year. Mm. We still haven't heard from Nintendo. They've been quiet. Maybe later this month, because that, that's how it was last month with. I mean, that last year with Nintendo. Oh, you like the Wholesome Games Direct? I haven't seen it. I. Yeah, I've been taking. Um, I've been selectively choosing which showcase to react to. 7 out of 10, though. Yeah, I would say around there, like... 8... 8 out of 10 for me. Not the best best. Um, definitely there are some biases, because there are certain games I haven't played. But, I will give it the benefit, benefit of the doubt, because there are people who do care about these games, and... Um, they have finally shown some light of day, so... Stellar Blade also disappeared. <laughs> what the heck is Stellar Blade? Oh, I see, Killa. Well, we'll see how the year goes. Um, I will say, though, this is helping me schedule the rest of the year. Because <laughs> I don't know what I'm going to play in the fall and the winter. Um, if time is allotted, I do want to play Metal Gear Solid because the collection is coming out later in the fall and I would love to try that out. And because Final Fantasy VII Rebirth is delayed, um, 
I'm just like, what do I do? So um, if it goes well, we'll finally be able to have a chance to hit up the backlog. We'll play a little more community games too. So it looks like a, a year, uh, personally for me, for my schedule. Um, yeah, Sony was last month. Tears of the Kingdom got it big so far. I love the game. Yeah, I hope we get a Nintendo Direct soon, see? I agree. I was stuck on what you meant by Monster Hunter if it was a real, real story. <laughs> well, it's because Monster Hunter is more about like hitting monsters and there is a story to it um, in some way, but that story is tied to monsters. Dragon Dog Dragon's Dogma seems like there is more of a deeper story with the characters. The world building from what it seems and whatnot. So that's what I think. I've never played Dragon's Dogma, so I'm just ta just take it with a grain of salt from what I personally have seen. Um, but yeah, that's what I meant. Um, oh, you've never played Monster Hunter? Yeah, Monster Hunter does have a story to it, but it's more related to... Oh look, there's a monster. Here is its lore. Let's go and hunt it down because it's causing wreck and havoc. Um, yeah, that's basically what Monster Hunter is. Monster Hunter Stories is completely different. That one is really story focused. Um, and it does have Monster Hunter monsters in it. Um, I mean, knowing Nintendo, they'll say nothing. Oh yeah, yeah, Nintendo is... Nintendo Shroud Ops everything and that kind of makes me mad because I go, what the heck? <laughs> I like scheduling things, but it is what it is. They can do whatever they want. I don't even think... I think even Diablos can compete with Tears of the Kingdom. Well, we'll see. Tears of the Kingdom seems like a very coding nightmare, and so is Starfield. Because uh, trying to code in interactions from for with other objects in video games takes a lot of work. And the fact that Tears of the Kingdom does it so seamlessly throughout the entire thing. I'm pretty sure there are limitations like how many how much things you could put together at once because of the fuse mechanic. Um, but the fact that they were able to execute it so well is amazing. <laughs> very, very amazing. Um, like, who would do that? but Nintendo. So, Nintendo will probably just be like TikTok or Clock is On. Play at the game tomorrow, next month at Christmas. Well, we'll see. We'll see. They do need to have a Nintendo Direct out soon. Um, but again, I think Tears of the Kingdom talk will, in development, will be heavily discussed in GDC, Game Developers Conference, which I think is a good thing to talk about. Um, because again, collision in video games is a headache to code and trying to put them together like it does in Tears of the Kingdom to glue all those pieces together is a headache. Um, I'm looking forward to what Nintendo is cooking this month or next. I look forward to it, yes. This is how some can look at it. Suspect Spider-Man, Final Fantasy can compete. Yeah, we'll see. I am keeping my hopes really low. Um, even for the titles that don't have the mechanics like Tears of the Kingdom. Um, you just never know. You have the collection on PS3. I look forward to playing it. Monster Hunter story is super linear. Hunt this monster, now hunt this monster. Exactly, Myth. So you played it before. Monster Hunter games have stories, but they really just an excuse to go hunt. Yeah, exactly. Exactly what I said. You go, You there's a story. Here's a monster. Go hunt it. That's it. I don't know if there was a second, third. Oh, uh, there have been quite a handful of Monster Hunter games. I think at this point there are a total of six Monster Hunter um, games, excluding Monster Hunter stories. Um, there's no more games in line for release on the Switch. Maybe only Pikmin. We still have yet to hear from Metroid Prime 4. Yeah, Metroid Prime 4. <laughs> I can't I can't think of any other titles for them to put out, to be honest. It'd be awesome if they put out the GameCube. GDC talks about Breath of the Wild were so cool. Yeah, I heard about that. About GDC with Breath of the Wild, for sure. There's like three to five directs per yearly. Around there, um, Nintendo does directs like 
every three months or so and every three months that's a new season when are you going to play tears of the kingdom we'll play tears of the kingdom uh later today i need to upload the capcom showcase on youtube um and i don't want to upload it when i'm streaming because then the upload time for it goes up it increases and it'll take longer for me to upload it and plus i think it's a good thing for me to take a break anyways because um geez today is monday i might head out for a little bit um and then come back or something i don't know i don't know yet um wasn't there a new kirby game that they teased that was kirby tilt and tumble that was announced on an nso plus hi strider welcome in unleash something at some point we won't be like pog <laughs> Honestly, I look forward to it. I'll play... There's a lot of games in my backlog. I do hope uh, gamers um, get what we want, you know. Will I be trying Dragon's Dogma? Honestly, Killa, given the amount of backlog that I have, I actually have no idea. I'd make no promises. Um, we have Final Fantasy 16 to worry about. If I finish Final Fantasy 16 in time, we might play Pikmin, likely. Um, I've never played Pikmin before. Pikmin 4 will be my first Pikmin game I will ever play in my entire life. My boyfriend was supposed to play it with me, Pikmin 3, but because of COVID, we weren't able to do that. Um, but now that it's over and Pikmin 4 is coming out, I'm kind of curious about it. Um, I want to play Final Fantasy 6 for the first time. I want to play Chrono Trigger for the first time. I want to do more community games this year. Um, heck, if there's time, Final Fantasy 14. Like, you never know. I have no idea. Um, so, yeah. I think we have, we all have backlogs. Yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of games I want to play for this year, and I can't even express how many are there. <laughs> Pre prepare to lose all your Pikmin. It will haunt your nightmares. Echo, I want that experience. Give it to me. That way I know how it feels to be in that predicament. Isn't the real backlog the friends that we made along the way? Dang it! I don't know! They're everywhere! Call of Duty, Momo! Call of Duty has a story campaign? I never knew that. Okay. I gotta head out, everyone. It's been nice knowing you all. Um, again, more Tears of the Kingdom today. I don't know what time. Um, but we gotta get this showcase on the road. Um, no, I won't let you. Dang it, Echo. No. Okay. Goodbye, everyone. Thank you so much for tuning in. Um, I'll see you all later today.